As we listen to the Earth Star Sutra now, we also hear the name of Vipashin, Vipashin Buddha. So we will never fall into the evil paths, but only if you never do any evil deeds. If you continue to do evil deeds after hearing this Buddha's name, you will still fall into the evil paths. Why? You have not changed for the better and reformed. Just because one has heard the name of the Buddha, it does not mean one will not fall into the three evil paths. So one may go and kill, set fire, steal, and everything else, figuring one will not fall into the three evil paths. Do not think in such a stupid fashion. Although you have heard the Buddha's name, you will only avoid the three evil paths if you never do evil deeds. They will always be born among people or gods, and will abide in supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, as many great eons ago, as there are grains of sand in the limitless and countless Ganges rivers, a Buddha named Jod Victorious Kamwan appeared in the world, and in Sanskrit, Jod is Latna, and Victory is Vipa. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will never fall into the three evil paths, and will always abide in the heavens, experiencing supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Jod appearance thus come and appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and give rise to a thought of respect. Those people will soon attain the fruition of a hardship. Furthermore, the meekless Asamkhya ends ago, a Buddha named Kashaya Banathas Kamon appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will overcome the offenses created throughout one hundred great ends of births and deaths. Sutra. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Great Penetration Mountain King. Thus, come one appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will encounter as many Buddhas as there are grains of sand in the Ganges. Those Buddhas will speak Dharma extensively for them, making certain that they realize Buddhi. Furthermore, in the past, there were Buddhas named Pure Moon Buddha, Mountain King Buddha, Wise Victory Buddha, Pure Name King Buddha. Accomplished Wisdom Buddha, Unsurpassed Buddha, Wonderful Sound Buddha, Full Moon Buddha, Moon Face Buddha, and indescribably many other Buddhas, World Honored One, beings of the present and future, both gods and humans, both male and female, can amass such limitless merit and virtue by reciting only one Buddha's name. How much more merit will they amass? By reciting many names, those beings will personally obtain benefits in their lives and deaths significantly, significant enough to keep them from ever falling into the evil paths. When people are on the brink of death, a group of their relatives, or even just one of them, should recite a Buddha's name aloud for the people who are ailing. If they do, the karmic retributions of those people who are about to die will be dissolved. Even offenses deserving fivefold relentless retribution, offenses warranting fivefold relentless retribution, are so extremely heavy that those who commit them should not escape retribution for millions of ends. If, however, at the time of such offenders' deaths, Someone recites the names of Buddhas on their behalf, then their offenses can gradually be dissolved. How much more will that be the case for beings who recite those names themselves? The merit they create will be limitless and will eradicate measureless offenses. Commentary. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Great Penetration Mountain King Thus Come One appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will encounter as many Buddhas as there are grains of sand in the Ganges. Those Buddhas will speak the various terms of the Dharma extensively for them, making certain that they realize 
the enlightened fruit of unsurpassed body. Furthermore, in the past, there were Buddhas named Pure Moon Buddha, Mountain King Buddha, Wise Victory Buddha, Pure Name King Buddha, Accomplished Wisdom Buddha, Unsurpassed Buddha, Wonderful Sound Buddha, Full Moon Buddha, Moon Face Buddha, and indescribably many other Buddhas. World Honored One, beings of the present and future, both gods and humans, both male and female, can you must such the meatless merit and virtue by reciting only one Buddha's name? How much more merit will they amass by reciting many names of Buddhas? Those beings will personally obtain the greatest benefits in their lives and deaths, significant enough to keep them from ever falling into the three evil paths, hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals. When people are on the brink of death, a group of their relatives, or even just one of them, should recite the Buddha's name aloud or loudly for the people who are ailing. If they do, the karmic retributions of those people who are about to die will be dissolved, even offenses deserving fivefold relentless retribution. Offenses warranting fivefold relentless retribution are so extremely heavy that those who commit them should not escape retribution for millions of ends. If, however, at the time of such offenders' deaths, someone recites the names of Buddhas on their behalf, then their offenses can gradually be dissolved. How much more will that be the case for beings who recite those names themselves? The merit they create will be limitless, so they acquire limitless blessings and will eradicate measureless offenses. The Conditions and Comparative Merit and Virtue of Giving Chapter 10 Commentary Comparative is derived from comparisons and measurements. There are three forms of giving. Giving of wealth, giving of dharma, giving of fearlessness. What is giving of wealth? The gift of wealth is divided into two types, inner and outer wealth. Inner wealth is your body, mind, and life. Your outer wealth is all the gold, silver, treasures, jewels, and everything external to the body. On a larger scale, giving of the outer wealth can be giving all the wealth of your country to another person. Or the king gives the power and authority to another person to let him be the king. Just like Shakyamuni Buddha, he yielded the position of a king to others, giving all the wealth of his kingdom to others. This kind of giving even includes giving away one's wife. The first thing that humans can't let go of is wealth. If one can give away wealth, then this is the then this is the breaking through of stinginess and greediness. The second hardest is beauty. Giving away beauty is difficult also. But if you can do what is difficult, that is because you are sincere. So all the real cultivators who are seeking dharma surrender even their spouses for the sake of dharma. Any reason other than seeking dharma, of course, is not justified. Undoubtedly, one cannot give up his wife and find a prettier one. This is the same as giving away nothing. It is not giving when you are tired of the old one and want to exchange him or her for a new one. The only words to describe this behavior are insatiably greed. It is desire and discontentment. One time during a lecture, we were on the subject of giving away one's wife. There was a wife who wanted to give away her husband, but she couldn't find anyone willing to accept him. So she could not give her husband away. Besides giving away external items, one can also give away one's internal things. The gift of inner wealth consists of the giving of head, eyes, brain, and marrow. It also includes the giving away of skin, blood, muscle, muscle, and bonds. The giving of dharma is learning the Buddha dharma, but it is not like clutching your treasures while the country lies in waste. An example of what 
that quote means is that when you are holding a treasure that can save people, say that treasure is the wish fulfilling, fulfilling pearl. Having the wish fulfilling pearl, one can have all kinds of gold, silver, treasure, and jewelry, all kinds of food, anything. Once you have this wish fulfilling pearl, all the problems like poverty and disasters can be resolved. But you don't use this wish fulfilling pearl to help your country and watch all the people of the country starving, suffering, and dying. Watching all of this suffering in front of your own eyes and not caring or even saving this matter is clutching your treasures while the country lies in waste. Another example is when you know how to speak Dharma but refuse to because once other people understand the Dharma, they will reach your level of understanding. By refusing to speak Dharma, you remain at a higher level than others. These kinds of thoughts are about clutching your treasures while the country lies in waste. So, one should always speak Dharma to other people telling everybody to hear the Dharma to cultivate and become awakened. The gift of fearlessness is when a person has a kind of disaster and feels fearful. You comfort the person with soothing words making them not afraid. Chapter 10 of this sutra is talking about the cause and effect of the merit and virtue of giving. Sutra at that time, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength, rose from his seat, knelt on one knee, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, World honored one, I have observed beings within the paths of karma and compared their acts of giving. Some do a little and some do a lot. Some receive blessings for one life, some for ten lives, and some receive great blessings and benefits for hundreds of thousands of lives. Why is that? Please, world honored one, explain that for us. Commentary at that time, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength, rose from his seat, knelt on one knee, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, the passage before World or Not One is a preface added while the sutras were compiled. This is like a descriptive article on how this text came to be. The parts after the World or Not One to follow the Earth Star Buddhist advanced words. World or Not One, I have observed beings within the paths of karma. The six paths are heavenly beings, human beings, asuras, hell beings, hungry ghosts and animals. How do they create karma? At first, there is ignorance, confusion that creates karma and retribution to undergo. The beings in the six paths are all muddled and cannot find their way out and compared their acts of giving. Some do a little and some do a lot. According to my comparisons, the merit from living beings and giving range of sli from slight to tremendous. Some receive blessings for one life, some for ten lives, and some receive great blessings and benefits for hundreds of thousands of lives. Why is that? Please, won't honored one be compassionate and explain that for us. Sutra. At that time, the Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva, here in this assembly in the palace of the Chayashim Shaheven, I will now discuss the comparative merit and virtue derived from acts of giving done by the beings in Jambuvipa. Listen attentively to what I say. Earth Star said to the Buddha, I have wondered about this matter and will be pleased to listen. The Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva, in Jambuvipa, leaders of nations, prime ministers, high officials, great elders, great kshatriyas, great brahmans, and others may encounter those who are poor, hunchbacked, crippled, dumbed, mute, deaf, retarded, blind, or handicapped in other ways. Those leaders and good people may wish to give to 
those unfortunate ones and may be able to do so with great compassion, a humble heart, and a smile. They may arrange to give generously either personally with their own hands or by arranging for others to do so using gentle words and sympathetic speech. The blessings and benefits that such leaders and good people will accrue will be comparable to the meritorious virtue derived from giving to as many Buddhas as their grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers. Why is that? Those leaders and good people will receive such rewards of blessings and benefits for many shown for having shown a greatly compassionate heart toward the most impoverished and disabled individuals. Throughout hundreds of thousands of lives to come, they will always have an abundance of the seven gems, not to mention clothing, food, and the necessities of life. Commentary at that time, the Buddha Shakyamuni told of the Bodhisattva. Here in this assembly, all the Bodhisattvas, hearers, our hearts, and all the heavenly beings, dragons, ghosts, and spirits, in the palace of the Chajashim Shah Heaven, I will now discuss the comparative merit and virtue derived from acts of giving done by the beings in Jambuvipa. Listen attentively to what I say. Earth Star said to the Buddha, I have wondered about this matter and will be pleased to listen. We have to understand that it's not that Earth Star Bodhisattva questions this subject. He understands the range of merit from giving very clearly, but he is requesting Dharma for living beings so all will understand the merit of giving. These are the causes and conditions for him, saying that he has wondered about this matter. Don't read the sutra and say, Earth Star Bodhisattva does not know about this matter or questions it. No, Earth Star Bodhisattva understands the matter, but he said that he wondered about the subject. Isn't that lying? But this kind of lying does not benefit him, nor does it harm anybody else. In fact, it actually benefits other people because he knew that living beings don't know this principle. So he set up this hypothetical question for the Buddha. So he acts as the Dharma requester. For instance, sometimes a person asks some question not because they themselves don't understand, but rather to have more people understand this matter. The Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva, in Jabhufipa, leaders of nations, prime ministers, high officials, great elders, the ones who are most affluent and virtuous. A great elder has ten kinds of moral conduct, nobility, high positions, very wealthy, mighty, very wise, older in age, unadulterated conduct, courteous, braced by superiors supported by subordinates, great shachyas, uh, India's royalty, nobility, great brahmans, descendants of those who practice purity, also nobility. There are four types of social classes in India, shachyas, brahmans, vashyas, and chadalas. Vedas are businessmen and chadalas are butchers, and others may encounter those who are poor. The richest elders, great shachiyas, and great brahmans and cut those of the lowest class, such as beggars, employees, and ignoble occupations. The poorest people and the poor and sick, hunchbacked, crippled, dumb, mute, or spiritual impaired, deaf, retarded, blind, or disabled in other ways, such as missing arms, legs, eyes, or any other body part. Those leaders and good people may wish to give to those unfortunate ones and may be able to do so with great compassion, a humble heart, and a smile. They may arrange to give generously either personally with their own hands or by arranging for others to do so, using gentle words and sympathetic speech. The blessings and benefits that such leaders and good people will accrue will be comparable 
so the meritorious virtue derived from giving to as many Buddhas as their grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers. Why is that? What is the reason? How come a leader who smiles as he gives to the poor will accrue as much merit as giving to Buddhas the number of grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers? What is the principle behind this? So the party who receives the charity is not a Buddha, a leader who can humble himself and smile and give joyously and reverently as if he were making offerings to all Buddhas, then such merit is equivalent to the merit of making offerings to Buddhas, the number of grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers. Those leaders and good people will receive such rewards of blessings and benefits for having shown a greatly compassionate heart toward the most impoverished and handicapped individuals. Throughout hundreds of thousands of lives to come, they will always have an abundance of the seven gems, not to mention clothing, food, and the necessities of life. Sutra. Moreover, earth store in the future, the leaders of nations, Brahmins, and others may encounter Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, heroes, or Pratika Buddhas and personally make offerings or give gifts to them. If they do that, each of those leaders and good people will serve as Lord Chakra for a duration of 10 ends, enjoying supremely wonderful bliss if they are able to transfer the blessings and benefits of that giving, dedicating it to the Dharma realm. Then those leaders of nations and good people will reign as great Brahma heaven kings for 10 ends. Moreover, earth store in the future, leaders of nations, Brahmas, and others may, upon encountering ancient Buddhist stupas and monasteries or sutras and images that are damaged, decaying or broken, resolve to restore them. Those leaders and good people may then do so themselves or encourage others as many as the hundreds of thousands of people to have and thereby established affinities. Those leaders and good people will become wheel turning kings for hundreds of thousands of successive lives, and those who made offerings with them will later be leaders for, uh, for small nations for as many lives if they resolve to dedicate that merit before the stupas or monasteries. Then, based on that limitless and unbounded reward, those leaders, good people, and their helpers will all eventually com complete the path to Buddhahood. Commentary Moreover, let me tell you some causes and conditions of giving. Earth Store, you also know that in the future, the leaders of nations, Brahmas, and others may encounter Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, heroes, or Pratika Buddhas. Sanskrit for those enlightened by conditions when there are Buddhas in the world, and solitarily enlightened ones when there are no Buddhas in the world, and they personally make offerings or give gifts to them. If they do that, each of those leaders and good people will serve as Lord Chakra for a duration of 10 ends, enjoying supremely wonderful bliss if they are able to transfer the blessings and benefits of that giving, rejecting this for themselves and dedicating it to the Dharma realm. Then those leaders of nations and good people will reign as great Brahma heaven kings for 10 ends. Moreover, let me make it a bit more clear. Earth strawberry sat by in the future, leaders of nations, Brahmas, and others may, upon encountering ancient Buddhist stupas and monasteries, or sutras and images that are damaged, decaying or broken, resolve to restore them, to restore them, volunteer to repair or reconstruct Buddha images and temples.